Hey guys, it's McKenna. So if you're new here, welcome. Liv and I are going to, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm just gonna put it on the screen. We're going to this place. Um, and that's where the Great Barrier Reef is. It's like all along Australia, but that's like the most classic place that people visit when they're going to go to the Great Barrier Reef. So this is a very last minute trip. We had known that we wanted to go for a long time, but then we just like never got around to booking it because just October has been very hectic. We literally booked our flights, I think Monday, and we just booked our Airbnb today. And it's Thursday and we leave tomorrow, but our flight is tomorrow morning. We're only going for two days um, just because there's not like so much to do aside from scuba diving. Um, but yeah. Okay, hi guys. So we are at our Airbnb. We're in Cairns. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce it right now. And we're going to go to this like rainforest train thing, but uh, the timing didn't work out. And we, it's also just like kind of elaborate and we're not really in the mood. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go walk into town. We had a very um, eventful trip here. Our plane like had this bath, like these like multiple different bachelor parties on them, and dude, these men were so annoying. <laughs> Liv, what did you get? An avo and orange salad. Lovely. We're at the coffee club. This is the same place that we went to in Bali, and it was very good. So I got French fries for lunch. Okay, so Liv and I have decided to walk to the grocery store and um, get some groceries to make dinner tonight, but we're walking like on this esplanade and then now it's raining because we stopped. This man who reeled in this like shark, and it was pretty cool, I got a video. I'll insert it. Shovel nose, shovel nose, shark, I think. And yeah, so we're going to Woolies now, the authentic Aussies that we are. So we're looking for cookie right now. Can't find it. Perhaps the Australians make their cookies from scratch. I've decided to get a brownie instead. Just got our groceries and now we're walking back to go cook them. How exciting. Liv, are you excited to cook our dinner? Yeah. I will tell you what's on the menu tonight. I know you guys have all this wondering. Some chipotle chicken and some broccoli with lemon, baked broccoli with lemon, and um, what else do we get? Couscous. Couscous. Uh, we were going to vlog us cooking, but then it just got a little chaotic. It's a tiny kitchen, but we made this beautiful meal. We made the broccoli, and then Liv made the chicken, and then this didn't really really require much making, but this is couscous, couscous and it looks so good. Yeah. Me and my wife. That was a freaking delicious meal. I'm so fun. proud of us. Okay, let's do a Q&A, Liv. Okay. What has been your favorite trip abroad? Um, so far. Definitely spring break, like overall. Far. Yeah, overall. And then within Australia? Or and then like or like favorite place. 
Yeah. What trip? I would say take more in Bali. Like, I think within Australia, I really liked Mel Melbourne. That was really a cool city. And then outside of Australia, Singapore was by far my favorite place. So yeah. What is one thing that surprised you the most about coming here that you didn't like, you didn't think, you know what I mean? One yeah. thing that surprised you most about um, abroad. I, like, in, can I talk about Australia specifically? Mm -hmm. Like, so since Sydney is like such a big city and there's like so many people and stuff, I guess I didn't realize how similar it would be to the US just because it's kind of like a melting pot type thing and like it's kind of like a mix of like the US and like the UK kind of but I just didn't realize how similar they were to us and like even some small things. It's easy to like forget that you're in Australia like it feels like a new city it doesn't feel like it's like so different. Um, what's the hardest part of abroad that you didn't expect? I've never like I've gone to away to college and like to summer programs and stuff and I've never had a problem like missing my family or anything but I think that one thing that like kind of really threw me off is that because it's a 15 hour time difference now it's like much harder to talk to my family and my friends than I was expecting it to be like I was expecting to be able to be like just call them like when I want to talk to them but it's like no, you can only call them at like very specific hours of the day because both my parents work, my brother and sister are in school, they have activities, like my friends are in class or whatever. So it's just like people aren't always available to talk and within the time frame that they are able to talk, like it's just, I feel like it's hard to schedule. Yeah. It's, like it's to really schedule bad. when you're gonna talk to people and like, I think just cause I wasn't expecting it. Like I was expecting it to be a lot easier and then the time difference like really threw me through me for a loop. The thing hard for me was definitely like coming to the fact that like this is my experience and like not anyone else's because like everyone's going abroad and like everyone's been abroad and like everyone like tries to do everything and you just have to like accept it that like this is the way my trip is going and like I've loved it so far but like trying not to compare to like everyone it's else's good. abroad experience because like everyone's doing it. Yeah. So we're gonna watch Love Island I now. Just my heart out on YouTube. <laughs> All right, hey everybody. So today is um, Saturday, and we are in our Uber now, and we're going to go um, on our like boat excursion for the day. And this is like really the main reason that we came here, um, and we're really excited. Should be fun. Um, I told you guys yesterday that Liv brought her GoPro, so should be able to get some cool footage from that. back now and didn't update you that much today but um we were just laying outside and then we ended up getting the pictures which are really cool so i hope that you guys can hear me over this freaking music but whatever um yeah we're going back it was a really fun day I saw a lot of fish it was really cool oh my god so the cutest freaking thing just happened so we're sitting at this table and this nice man comes up to us he comes up to us and he goes hi girls 
um, my church is having a free barbecue just across the lagoon uh, for backpackers and families and stuff. Like, please feel free to come over. And that was just the cutest freaking thing that I have ever experienced in my life. And we didn't have to pay for dinner, so that was so cute, so fantastic. It was just absolutely adorable, and it really warmed my heart. So. Yeah, that's really all. I just find I just needed to share that in the vlog. It was amazing. All right, so I totally realized that I actually forgot to end off my this vlog. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.